warrior, um, Michael Smith, but only by six lengths from Luke Sarr, who is definitely closing the gap. Our prime warrior from Luke Sarr, the fourth from home. Ingle Bond this landed in third. Half of nothing has gone fourth, length of local health, but at the tenth before the home straight. So now we're just about three furlongs to race. Alpine Warrior, well, his lead may have been eroded, but Luke Sarr is unable to bridge the gap now. And if anything, the advantage is being extended. Ingle Bond misses a further six to eight lengths back in third, but rounding the top third. Heading back towards the second from the finish. And Alpine Warrior, who kicked on fully a mile and a quarter from home, still has a clear lead from Luke Sarr, who's now labouring in second. He got one miss back in third, and they're clear from half of nothing. And Opal Hellsman are on the run towards the final fence. And Alpine Warrior would seemingly only have to jump the last to collect Luke Sarr, staying on again, but still with at least eight lengths to find. Although now the stamina is kicking in at the final fence, Alpine Warrior was on his nose. Luke Sarr just two lengths down, now just a length and a half, and on the flat to the finish, Alpine Warrior screaming for the line, Luke Sarr is challenging, near the post, oh that's tight, Luke Sarr and Alpine Warrior, I think Michael Smith just got it though, back in third, Ingle Mocky missed, and fourth to finish, Opal Holmes,